Hey Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to your readings today. We're asking today for an immediate message. What does Spirit need to tell you right now? And we will also check in and see whether there's any kind of follow on from that message as well. We maybe follow through, check out to see if anything's happening in the next seven days from this message because it's a very immediate request. What do you need to know right now? Beautiful souls, uh, thank you to all of you who are returning to my lovely channel, to our beautiful community, because we are a community and you guys uh, are for me truly inspirational. And welcome to anyone new. And if you are brand new to tarot, uh, what I'm going to do is draw three cards, some runes as well, and some charms. All of these are here to help to kind of guide you into the right reading. You may find that you're attracted to more than one. This can sometimes happen. For anyone who is already a part of this community, and if you're following my readings regularly and checking in with this as I upload it, I want to say a massive thank you. Um, as you will hear, if you're new, you'll wonder what this is about, but I, I had laryngitis. And in my last readings, I was coughing rather a lot. I may end up coughing a little today, but you will hear from my voice if you're following my readings through that it is so, so much better. And I just wanted to just send you back the biggest hug and love to all of you because so many of you have been sending me healing and light and I have truly, truly felt it. I just want to say I really, really have. I have just sat and listened to what was coming in from you and I am so grateful and really humbled as well. Thank you. You know, we are all made of energy. We are all made of star stuff and we can use our mind to generate so much positivity, so much love, so much good, and so much healing. And I have been receiving that from you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And now I will continue with the readings. <laughs> I am seeing uh, this card here for pile one already. This for pile two, and it's the one, no, it's not the one on the base, it's this one for pile three. Let's have a look at these first. So pile one, okay. Pile one, child wounded. I will read you the light attributes as well. Awaken compassion and desire to serve other wounded children. Open the learning path of forgiveness. I'm just going to read you those. The light. We'll look at the shadow attributes as well within the reading and just follow through as we always do. We never know what's happening in our readings. Your card for pile two is angel. Wow, light attribute, helping those in need with no expectation of return. Gosh, lots of service energy today. And then pile three, we have femme fatale, light attributes, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. Very interesting cards today. Okay, so these are our cards, pile one, pile two, and pile three. So, for pile one, oh, rune coming through already, you have Suelo. This is the rune of, of wholeness. Pile two. Oh, I've got pile two and three coming through. So pile two, you have the rune of the self. This is Manas. And pile three, you have the spiritual warrior, Tewaz. This is the rune and charms we have. Okay, pile one. Wow, this is beautiful. You have a bee. Absolutely stunning little charm. Let me bring that up to show you. There we are. You have the bee. Pile two, you have the beautiful bat. Gorgeous. And Pile three, you have the anchor. Okay. So my wonderful, beautiful super souls, I'm gonna leave the video running just a little bit longer. So you've got time if you want it to really absorb the energy of the cards, the runes, the charms. You may literally have known the moment a card came up. Um, 
but you may not, and um, you may need to sit with these a while. You may find that more than one is speaking to you. Beautiful souls, trust that wonderful intuitive instinct within yourself. I always believe the right readings find the right people. We never know what's going to show up in a reading. And I'm going to put the timestamps into the description box and also into a pinned comment as well. And I will see you in the readings. See you in a minute. Hey, beautiful pile one, welcome to your reading. So you have child wounded, this is your first card. Light attributes, awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path of forgiveness. Shadow attributes, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, resists moving on through forgiveness. Hmm. With Sowello, this rune of wholeness, this is, this is a rune that sort of suggests there's a pathway to follow, a very clear pathway in front of you. And it is about becoming whole. I'm wondering if what spirit is really wanting to connect in with you today is to, to offer you an opportunity to heal something. We'll obviously draw a lot more cards here for you kind of made me think of bees as well they are extraordinarily healing or, or they generate healing properties if you think about it honey uh, can it, it never goes off you you could find a pot of two-year-old two-year-olds 200 year old is what I was going to say 200 year old honey not that they had pots all I don't know did they 200 years ago I don't know but the point is honey will never go off and propolis the quality of propolis which is very present in my world because because of my, my laryngitis propolis is just remarkable if you gargle with it you know for it the healing powers of it are extraordinary you know bees kind of hold our I feel like they hold our world together you know we we could not survive without bees no bees know us so I, I do feel there's these little threads coming in. It's really interesting I'm saying threads because this person here has a blanket wrapped around her shoulders. Yeah, I feel there is an opportunity either to heal something or it may be that you're offering healing to someone else. That is also a possibility. I feel that message is coming through for some of you. Now, I'm going to draw an Archangel Michael card for you first. Detach from the situation. Okay. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. Ah, let's see what else we are shown. We have... May we have a message right now, right here and right now, for my beautiful pile ones, please. And I'm going to draw you a chakra card as well. In fact, I'm hearing two chakra cards today for you. Here we go. May we please have another card for my beautiful pile ones. This is your card. Mm, we have... Gosh, perception and enlightenment. And this is really interesting because this card also speaks about enlightenment. How interesting. And we have the beaver and the birch. Birch trees are about new beginnings. Let's see if we can move our cards around a little bit. Is that going to get everything in just about? I think so we shunt things around a little move my beautiful light over here yep can we do that yes we can okay right let's really sit with your reading 
pile one, there, there is something, I think, that you need to either attend to or follow through with. It may even just mean walking away from something. So birch trees are about new beginnings. So we are seeing something like a doorway open for you. The card of perception. Very interesting because we have a garden, butterflies connecting to transformation, but we've got doorways here. The perception card is actually sort of about walking through a door. So whether you're exiting or you're, I mean, in a way, when we exit something, we also enter something, don't we? This card can also speak about almost like going, doing a full circle. So I don't know if you're going around in circles with something and you need to detach from it. But this is definitely, both of these cards actually connect to um, facing some sort of fear. Child wounded. I think there is something around you. We will be looking for much more information. I'm going to need clari clarification, I think, here for you. But there's something that's been going on around you that you need to detach from. You literally kind of cut those cords. That's very clear advice and guidance, and, and it's really interesting. I'm feeling that really strongly. Beautiful pile one, there is something that you need to detach from. Cut the cords. I think it is a walk away, actually. But there's fear around this, either fear of leaving something or fear of what, of the new or the unknown. Now, beavers are interesting because they build dams. And although in essence, this card <coughs> Excuse me, my cough coming back a little. But this card in essence is about kind of building a home. That, that's its, its message is, is about building a home. But I, nesting almost. But I feel like maybe, you know, beavers have a dam. Maybe they're blocked. Something's blocked. And what I'm really noticing in this card is the eyes. I mean, okay, these are not <coughs> necessarily meant to be eyes. It's, we've got a birch tree, but in the birch, what I'm seeing here, that looks, for me, this looks like an eye. I'm seeing lots of eyes. I think with perception, you've, you're have you seeing something, you've seen something with new eyes. You've seen something, maybe you've seen something for what it is. The Enlightenment card as well. The story with this is really delightful. There's a, a story of this little lad walking up a mountain and meets this I th well, I don't know who it is. I, I would need to check it out in, and go back to the book to remember. But the little, the little boy says, you know, if enlightenment is to be found in my mind, you know, how do I get there? And, and, and the person, the enlightened person says, through your fears. So there's like facing something. I think you've seen something through clearer eyes. Child wounded awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the path of forgiveness. Alternatively, the shadow attributes blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. I, I'm not saying that those are, are definitely right for you, but I feel there's been some kind of a, a wounding. Could have been of you, it could have been of someone else. And it requires healing, but I think for you specifically, what is actually needed is, is to walk through a doorway. It's like facing your fears and maybe it's a situation you got involved in and it's difficult for you to now move away from it. I don't know, but your, your perception has altered. I think you're seeing something with fresh eyes. Beaver and the birch home that dam. I feel that maybe something that has been blocked needs to be unblocked, moved forwards in some way, shape or form. I definitely need lots of clarifying cards for you and we'll draw your tarot cards now anyway. May we have more information about Pile One's, not just their situation, but really the message. Spirit, what do you wish to give to pile one what guidance i'm seeing detach from the situation and it's like facing your fears and and leaving something here okay hmm. 
how interesting both of those came and I do feel I want to look at the base of the pack as well eight of swords yeah so you've not been seeing something clearly you feel very hemmed in I'm seeing with this card I mean really I, th I think you feel a bit hemmed in by something and yet look at this sword here like a knife cutting through something and how interesting can you see that there's this is like a cliff edge here makes me think of the dam again you know something that's blocked yeah you're feeling hemmed in by something you're not quite sure which way to go with this your primary message i think is clear yes and we have the wheel of fortune your primary message is really clear which is actually i think to detach from the situation for some reason you're anxious about doing so you're anxious about doing so let's look at your cards we have the wheel of fortune we have the three of cups okay we have the six of cups we have the five of swords hmm. we have the devil and we have the star okay let me see if i can move these along pile one i think something is changing anyway in this situation so you're feeling very hemmed in but we've got the wheel of fortune and although i it's a very messy looking wheel of fortune that's what i feel like although it feels like i want to say you might have got yourself into a bit of a pickle or somebody else who is needing your assistance <laughs> so i'm reading this as if it is all for you but the reality is and this was coming through right at the beginning for some of you you are able to help someone um, able to assist with their pathway of healing uh, it could be a it could actually be a child we've got children showing up here look at this figure here with children and this figure here with children and and I, do you know what I'm really hearing as well and we've got another child here of course child wounded yes what I'm really hearing as well is so whether this is literally a child as in a, a little person it could be your own child or age and state regardless of age and stage of development you know sometimes people could be i don't know 50 going on five couldn't they so especially if they've got stuck in something of their own child woundedness so there is a there's definitely a child presence here in this reading and i feel that they've got themselves into a pickle basically now whether that is you because your button has got pressed and you or you got drawn into something um that was a bit childish or child you know game playing childishness that's because something that you're needing to detach from drama basically i feel like there's an element of sort of detach from the drama move on um whether it's it, whether the fears about moving on are connected to childhood but either way i'm seeing a bit of a muddle here you've got you've got yourself into a pickle or someone else has got themselves into a pickle here and it's all feeling very hemmed in but we've got we're loaded with possibility here we've got the star card and look at the five of swords it feels like this person lovely little raccoon how interesting we'll talk about raccoons in a second um it's about to be beamed up so we're moving from the eight of swords where we're really hemmed in to sort of being beamed up i feel like it's what's that like in star trek you know beam me up scotty <laughs> that's what i want to say beam me up scotty get me out of here um i suspect that might actually be a little bit about about how you how you're feeling here or the it's either you or someone else that you're looking out for and they are feeling hemmed in even the beaver is kind of hemmed in by these birch trees it's quite interesting what i'm seeing now seeing my perception changing the beaver is gnawing their way out it, i mean these beautiful birch trees could almost feel like a, a cage the bars of a cage and the beaver is gnawing their way through able to escape as it were be beamed up yeah so there's a pickle <laughs> there's a pickle in someone's world going on here now 
with the devil card. There's lots of lots of messages coming through in this reading, I need to say, my beautiful pile ones. I think perception. I do think you are seeing something. Maybe the person who's in a pickle has not been able to see something clearly. They've seen someone in one light and in fact this person was really someone else. Not what they appeared to be. Either that or you yourself are now seeing a situation more clearly when somebody else is in a pickle. But this is what we're seeing. The devil for me is a card that invites invites you to cut cords actually to see clearly to see clearly these eyes showing up to see something with clarity i sort of want to say with the home card as well maybe this situation re requires a sort of a, almost like sitting down and having a cup of tea and just settling it. It's It's got muddled. <coughs> work, work out. So, so there's definitely a detach from the situation. A cutting cords, I think, a walking away. Not being afraid to walk away. Not being afraid of what you're walking into. That's here. I'm going to draw far more cards for you now because I, I feel I need clarity around maybe I'm picking up on the muddle here because I feel like I'm needing to find some clarity I feel like there's a part of, of you or the other person because this is really that's very clear that this, this is either about you yourself or it's about someone else that you're looking out for who sort of feels like they need rescuing <coughs> you'd like to be beamed up or they'd like to be beamed up Maybe the person in question or you yourself are feeling quite small in this. There's an edge of fear around it. So we see the, the star card and we see the devil. So really, ultimately, if you're seeing something with clarity, you can make really clear choices. Detached from the situation is a primary message for you. There's no question of it. This is a real walk away. Something needs to you know, be completed and, and moved along. But I'm now going to draw more clarifying cards for you. So what, what I feel I want to ask for, pile one, is real clarity about what you actually do need to do. Because this is a reading for you. Even if you are looking out for someone else, this is a reading that I feel requires some form of action. And yet there's muddle, confusion, fear around taking that action. I think it's purely the fear and the, I think your perception is probably quite clear now about, about the fact that something's not, you know, something isn't right. <coughs> it's really how you move this forward. So let's ask for real clear guidance. What is this pathway? There's a pathway you must follow. So what is this pathway? What do you need to actually do? That's what I feel I'm wanting to ask for you. May we have clarification, spirit, clear guidance on what pile one actually need to do. Strength. Ooh. Okay, now that's a big wad of cards. There's too many here, but I'm going to take the one that showed up as they landed, which is the Knight of Discs. Okay. That's helpful, very helpful. Okay, let's look at these. So, your first card, the card of strength. Well, this is the nine of, of wands. But this is the sun. This pack is slightly different. It's a Doth pack. Um, you've got the sun in Sagittarius. So this is about hope. It's it's actually about establishing a pathway forwards. I do actually think action will be required on your part. You need to actually do something. It's this cutting of cords, being decisive. Even the um, sign of Sagittarius 
always reminds me of the rune of the spiritual warrior which, which of course we drew actually for pile three so if in any way you've been drawn to pile three as well as that's probably a connection for you now I think you need to make some clear you need to make a clear and decisive take a clear and decisive choice even if it's feeling a little bit challenging okay there is a role for you to play whether it is you stepping in and cutting some cords being really decisive establishing some boundaries um, or whether it is uh, it, whether you're doing it for someone else or you're doing it for you but I think you pile one can do something what <coughs> what I feel is you're tired um, but you're, you're tired, you may even literally just be sick and tired of this scenario, this situation. Uh, it's definitely time to take action now, actually. That's what we're being shown. The Knight of Discs. I always feel his horse looks so weary. And this is a card that really indicates that it's a point of harvest. And we're going to get a lot of benefit from this action and this harvest here. And the card of perception also, it's this girl is in a, the story in this card is that she is in a garden and there's a door in front of her and she goes through the door, but it closes behind her. And, and she's fearful because she doesn't know what is in front of her. So a door has opened or a door has been shown to her. She walks through it, she, the door closes. So there's something of closing a door behind you here. And she's in the dark, she's fearful, but she carries on. And then another door appears and she enters another garden. This is as I remember it, by the way. So, but she, she enters another garden and it's actually the same garden that she left behind, but now it's full of blossoms and fruit and flowers. It's, it's in harvest. This beautiful green emerald there, which of course green emeralds, the color green is about healing. Archangel Raphael, the healing to be acquired from this pickle and this muddle, it does involve closing a door behind you. A door needs to be closed behind you. Your message is coming through now very clearly. And this will be, you'll know what this means in terms of whether it is for you or for someone else that you're assisting, but a door has to be closed. And look at this card here and this card here. Both of them, we they are showing us their backs, okay? So you need to close a door behind you. It's it's behind you. It's gone. It's over. Done and dusted. Beam me up, Scotty. Off we go to a new universe. <laughs> Forgive my chuckle, but <laughs> this is what is needed. There's a real there's a real strong sense. This is the point of culmination. Okay, and strife. I see there's a lot of worry around you, but you know this this is really important because we have Saturn. Can you see on this? Uh, wand here. We have Saturn and also we have, um, I think it is the North Node here. Now, so we've, Saturn is known as uh, Father Time, Father Karma. The nodes are about our karmic pathway. So this is, a, this is a major turn, closing a door behind you or indeed assisting someone to close a door behind them is leaving a really unhealthy situation, I actually think. It's something that is just a muddle. Uh, this is really important. People who are not honest, not who they really are. It all looks rosy on, it all looks good on the, on the tin, but it isn't. It's not, what it, it's not what it says. Even the star card, we're seeing someone who looks like the universe. They're full of stars stepping out from the shadows. We then have the Ten of, um, of Disc, <coughs> excuse me, this is the Ten of Pentacles, Wealth. Really interesting, this card actually in this particular pack really asks you to work out what really matters to you. You know, there's, there's been a learning curve here, a massive learning curve for you, which is to do with working out. You will have discovered through this scenario, whether you are supporting someone else or you've got into a pickle yourself, you will really, really, really know from this what matters. There's a massive karmic learning here with Saturn and the nodes involved here. I don't believe you or whoever you are looking out for will ever get in the same pickle again. And look at this Ace of Wands, beautiful energy. There's, this is new beginnings, it's new life, new vitality. 
This is what we're being shown. Pile one. <coughs> Excuse my throat. I am so much better though, beautiful souls. Thank you so, so much, all of you, for the love and the, you know, the care you have been sending me. I'm actually going to draw you another card because I want to, I want to take a peek into the future for you. Just because I can see this is a big deal. But this is closing a door behind you. This, this, it's unquestionable. The message is so, so clear. And it is a very now message. So whereas I often draw cards to look at the coming week, well, this is the here and now. This is the week. It's, it's really about, yeah, cutting cords, closing a door. So let's ask Archangel Michael. May we have a sneaky peek or some indication of, of, of an outcome, where this is going, perhaps. Oh, there's your cards. Beautiful. Let's have a look and see what we have. So lean on God and angels for support. Dear God and angels, I give you this, and then you briefly describe your situation or the other person if you're looking after them. But it's really about your actions here. It's not about someone else's actions. It's about your actions in response to potentially someone else if it's not your own world. I give you this, briefly describe the situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Fabulous. We then have, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Well, there you are. Just if you needed an affirmation, it's clear. Okay, <laughs> very, very, very clear. Let go of fear. Let go of fear and you're on the right path. Well, it hasn't given us a sneaky peek into the future per se, but this is an affirmation, an absolute, complete affirmation of everything that has already just been coming through in your reading pile one. Let go of fear. You know what you need to do. I think you know what you need to do. You, this is the closing of the door on something or indeed assisting someone to close the door on something. But whatever this is, you have a key role in making this happen. And it's a very now message. We've been given no indication of the future, but the affirmation that there's a sense of importance around your reading in terms of such a direct and an immediate message. Pearl one, I'm, I'm kind of, I want to say I'm so sorry that this is feeling quite sticky. I don't know better how to say it, but I am sorry it's, it's feeling quite sticky. But it's it's got to be just very interesting. Do you know this card is now speaking to me in a different way? I've just noticed that these figures are um you see they're being drawn around like or some of the figures. So aside from the fact that it just looks like a complete pickle, it reminds me of when um you know, like in movies when when somebody's I don't know, let's say there's a, a, I don't know, like a detective series and they draw around, <laughs> draw around the bodies. I, maybe you're afraid of almost like casualties along the way. I don't know if this is about hurting someone's feelings even. But whatever the pickle or the fear is about, or someone's in a pickle and, the, and they're in a drama and you're just, or maybe they're leaning too heavily on you, but whatever your unique situation, you will know what this is. It's time to leave. Let go of your fear. You are absolutely on the right path. Lean on God and angels for support. Look at the way will be shown. I am really sorry that this feels so intense or it's not so much intense, just st sticky is the right word. I don't know what, how that, what that will mean to you, but that's what it's feeling like for me. My beautiful pile one, I am truly honestly sending you the biggest, biggest hug in the world. You know, I, I think as a community of people here, actually, Moon Magic Super Souls, you are remarkable, you are amazing. You wouldn't be tuning in to readings like this if you were not walking that pathway of the spiritual warrior. And in truth, that is not always an easy pathway because of the big karmic lessons that we come here to do. So... Beautiful souls, um, I am sending you love and light and I know everyone here, I think I can confidently say everyone here in this community is 
actually holding that love and light because I think we do here actually I think it's one of the things we do thank you all for being here it's a true privilege to read for you all um, thank you all of you who like share subscribe I do a ton of stuff um, all zodiac readings my all zodiac readings are on another site another um, another platform do check out anything and everything that I do that maybe have helped and I also do have a library which is all about psychology and emotions there's a lot of emotional support there um, I'll, I'll put the links to anything and everything books that I write cards that I make and all sorts of things in the description box and in the pinned comment pile one your reading is so so clear um, so um, I am just yeah I'm just sending you the biggest hug ever tons of love and see you soon for another reading Hey, pile two, welcome to your reading. I love that you have an angel. How beautiful. Feels like a proper earth angel as well and a bat of transformation and the rune of the self. Now the rune of the self is, is like the rune of joy, which is like, like a pea. If you cut it down the middle and open it up. How interesting. Light attribute, helping those in need with no expectation of return. The shadow attributes are acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in, to be in touch with angelic guidance. Okay, helping those in need with no expectation of return. Hmm. Okay, I feel like your face, can to face something or see something. Let's Let's just draw more cards. We'll draw an Archangel Michael card first. May we have an immediate message for my beautiful pile to let go of fear now. How interesting. We are in very tumultuous times, aren't we? We are at the time I'm doing this reading. You could be re looking at this in years, years to come. Okay, we have, this is your card. We have the cat and the lavender, independence, okay. That's rather lovely. Lavender is very healing, very healing energy. It's, it's known as an adaptogen. It goes where it's needed. Oh, bless you. I think you beautiful souls. Either an earth angel is going to step in and help you or you are going to be an earth angel and step in and help someone else. Adaptogen, it goes where it's needed. The healing goes where it's needed. What else are we seeing here? What is your message? Dissipating and perseverance. Okay, and I'm seeing help again. Look at this person, supporting. Gosh, and then we have an elderly person here watching TV. <laughs> yeah, I actually feel my beautiful pile too. Let me move these along. Gosh, I actually do feel your message is really, really clear. Let go of fear now. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. And we have the Cat and the Lavender, which is also the card of independence. I feel there is actually someone around you who is requiring care, time and energy from you. It may be that some of you are actually looking after somebody elderly or looking out for someone elderly be a family member it could be somebody younger I mean we've got an elderly person but this person here looks much much younger the fear around you is not it's not like you're directly sort of facing I, I don't feel you're directly facing a really um, challenging situation in in like uh, an on the edge kind of fear. It, this is more to do with fear of, of being tied down by something or overloaded, having to give to someone and they need more than you, you can give or you're fearful that they will become um, very dependent and threaten your independence. 
you know, exactly those kinds of things that we experience. Sometimes if you're looking after somebody who's poorly or, um, or somebody who is elderly and they need you and you think, gosh, you know, there's no time. I feel like there's no time for you potentially. And, and it may be that you are really beginning to feel a bit overloaded by something or fearful that there will never be, you'll never have your life back or some, something along those lines as if you could lose yourself. Now, this doesn't have to be someone older. It could be someone younger. It, it could be a friend in need. It, it, I'm getting a lot of family energy coming through here. But there's a feeling of, of concern about it's sort of this independence versus, you know, somebody demanding or needing more from you than you can really give or you feel you can give or will it go on for too long? That that feels like your situation. It's not really your message, but I do think that's there's something of this situation around you. Let's draw your tarot cards and see what we're shown. <coughs> I do apologise. My voice is so much better, but it's still a little bit croaky. Okay, I'm seeing this and some this and this for you. That on the base. Hmm. Okay, I do think this one. And I'm also seeing that one actually really interestingly. So I'm just going to do that and we'll draw more if we need them. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Gosh, I'm seeing like a community here. Mm, okay. And then justice. The scales of justice. Okay, we have the three of swords. The six of pentacles. <laughs> and all the candy here and the goodies. This is rather lovely. Yes, it's a piñata, isn't it? Ah, okay, your message is getting really clear. Page of Pentacles. And then the Ace of Wands. Oh, this is lovely. Right, okay. Beautiful souls. This situation is not going to be um, long-lived. Okay. Something is actually going to shift and change, and this is your message. I think you are carrying. And beautiful Earth Angel, may I just honour you. Pile two. Pile two, you are earth angels. Uh, you are being honoured. You are being revered for the selflessness that you have been giving either to your community or to someone. And this is really coming through. It's a massive, massive, massive honouring of you. Now, yes, things have been feeling very out of balance for you. And there's a lot of conflict here for you around you know, you're giving, you're doing all the right things and, and actually you're doing it selflessly and with, and you are with no expectation of return. However, there are, there are fears that you could be drawn in there for too long. It'll never go away. When will you ever get your independence back? Will this person continue to demand or need more from you? Um, there's, there's all, all that kind of stuff in the message. Now, <coughs> You're being honoured for your perseverance and you're being honoured for your selfless service and help to either someone or a group of people. Your fears actually are unfounded and this is your biggest message. Um, this situation is going to come to an end and you are going to be rewarded for this, significantly rewarded actually with the Six of Pentacles. I mean, look at all these goodies. You know, whether this is like karmically or, or literally materially, you're going to be rewarded for something big time. OK, whatever you have been giving to selflessly. Yeah, whatever, whatever it is for you, you've been giving to something. You'll need to, need to hear that message in the context of your personal world. It's going to transform. This is your message. It's not going to. It's it's not going to be long lasting, or it's going to break open. The pinata breaks open, and and this is going to get sorted. The page energy. The page energy is quite a a young energy. It's going to move forwards fairly quickly, I think. And you are going to be able to kind of create, you're going to be able to start investing in yourself again. You're going to refine your energy, your creativity. 
I'm seeing this break open, come to a head quickly. And also, I mean, maybe it is coming to a head. Maybe you are already feeling like really torn between what, how much to give and how much not to give. And, but this is suggesting that there will be a solution. And, and I feel like I need to clarify around this. But <coughs> there's definitely a solution coming through for you. Things are going to be brought back into balance. With both the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, I'm seeing this sort of, this will be, you know, so it's going to blow open and, and it'll get sorted. I think that there may be assistance coming in. Maybe there's people coming in that mean you don't have to do this on your own anymore. Assistance, help coming in if this is an ongoing situation. Either that or it's actually just simply going to come to a head and reach a conclusion. I, I sort of feel I need additional clarifying cards around this. So let's first of all ask. Let me see, how can we be clear about what we're asking for you, my beautiful pile too? <coughs> I think I want to ask, are you, um, well, let's ask about how this blows open, because I feel like I've got two, two, almost two different messages coming through. One is to do with assistance coming in, um, and one is to do with something coming to its sort of completion. So let's ask about both of those. I mean, either way, it comes to a completion, I guess, or a, a turning point. May we ask, let's ask about the turning point, which I feel is coming through very quickly for you. May we ask about the turning point and how this emerges? Okay. I'm going to put those cards there. I am feeling like I want to do two little sets of cards, yeah. Okay, the second set, please. Do you know, I'm going to use all those. Right, so let's look at this first. Let's put these over here to one side for a moment. Okay, I'll, leave, I'll take them just as they are. Put them there and let's look at these. You have, well, this is lovely. Okay, so first of all, uh, you have the four of discs, which is actually a card of power. This is the sun in Capricorn. This is a card that actually says, uh, if you set your mind to something, you know, you can, you can kind of achieve it. And it speaks of actually of boundaries as well. So it's sometimes literally it can indicate, this is very interesting, it can indicate that you need to stand your ground how fascinating yes this does it sometimes indicates you need to stand your ground sometimes it means you need to stand strong for somebody but sometimes it means you need to stand your ground and not have your boundaries crossed over do you know either way i sort of feel like you are in a situation which is actually beginning to take its toll somebody is needing too much from you you have been utterly selfless and you are being honoured, valued, appreciated. Okay, this, there is a dilemma between this independence versus dependence. And what your reading is really saying, your first message is, don't be fearful of establishing some sensible boundaries. You know when somebody has a, a, a problem and you step in because you're just so beautiful and you're a gorgeous soul? And you are. It's really coming through here. You're an, you are an angel. And you give yourself a thousand percent to that situation. And then that person then assumes you will continue. You're going to continue and you'll continue to give to them a thousand percent. And you're like, well, hang on a minute. You know, this wasn't a lifetime's commitment. This was me stepping in to assist because I'm a decent and caring person. However you look at this, whether this situation is ongoing or whether it's going to come to a completion, and we'll check these cards out in a moment, you need to establish some clear boundaries. This is one of your messages. We have the Eight uh, of Pentacles and also the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is the Tree of Life. 
I love this card. What this card is actually saying is, is that there is actually going to be a solution to this, especially with the Ten of Cards, the Ten of Cards, the Ten of Pentacles. This card is, is, is saying, obviously, hold some firm boundaries, but you can nurture this situation. This is not going to be direct or confrontational. Like saying no doesn't have to be a biggie. It doesn't have to be a Three of Swords, gosh, this is really harsh kind of moment. It can be a Six of Pentacles where it's like a piñata. There's a win-win solution here. Actually, that's what I'm hearing. There is a win-win solution. I think with the 10 um, of, this is very interesting, with the 10 of discs, 10 of pentacles, because this card asks you to work out what really matters to you. And I, th I think this is giving you a solution, actually. It's part of the solution. I think there's like a conversation to be had. Look at all the mercury energy here at the top this disc and this disc and this disc all have the the um, the symbol of Mercury, the planet Mercury, and Mercury is about communication. I think a conversation needs to be had. <coughs> it can be a very nurturing, caring, loving conversation, but it's a conversation of boundaries. It reminds me of um, I will in my library. If you're new to me, you won't know that I was um, a counselor, a psychotherapist for a long, long time. That was my main profession and I have an online library and in the library there is a section it's a free library by the way it's a completely free resource so do check it out there is a section in the library called non-defensive communication and it is literally a mini course in having difficult conversations with people who maybe cross your boundaries and I don't necessarily feel like the person you're around is necessarily, or the circumstance around you is necessarily deliberately setting out to take take from you. I'm not saying that's not possibly true for some of you, because we had the shadow attribute, acting innocent or angelic to mislead. You know, so it could be that somebody is acting all sweet and nice, but needing a lot from you, and that could be true for some of you. For others. You've just been ultimately gorgeous and generous. And somebody is now wanting to take more ongoing than, than you had ever bargained for. The, the fundamental message is there. Your boundaries are, are needing to be firmed up here. And what they're suggesting here, what Spirit is suggesting, is a, mess, is a communication, a conversation of care and nurture. You know, so for example, in that non-defensive communication, it is a mini course. And honestly, if you're having trouble having conversations, it's really worth it um, checking it out because you might find some really helpful tips and tools. But it's kind of like, um, you know, rather than saying to somebody, gosh, you're taking more than I can give you, you can, you know, a, a really good starting point is to say, you know, actually, um, I am finding myself feeling something and I'm wondering if you can you can help me out with this. So, for example, it might be, oh, I'm having a bit of trouble with something and in my world and I'm wondering if you could help me out with this. Basically, I've, I've just discovered that I've, um, I'm beginning to get a little bit overloaded and I'm needing to reorganise my timetable and I really want to still give to you um, because it's been so super to you know, build a closer relationship. But um, I'm very aware that I'm neglecting some other areas of my life. So I've, I thought I'd draw up a timetable and I wonder if you could help me with it so that we could look together at how I can still be here for you. But at the same time, make sure that I'm not letting anyone else down. It's that sort of conversation that is, it, I mean, this is just a random thing that's coming through, but it's, it's like learning to have your boundaries in a way that creates a balanced, fair scenario. I mean, if you're at work, maybe some of you even at work with all these pentacles and discs showing up are being put upon. Maybe you stayed late to help out with a project and complete stuff. And now there's an expectation that you'll do this all the time. You'll stay over, you'll do overtime every single day and every single week. Well, no, there's a conversation that needs to be had here with boundaries. So although this came through as caring, <coughs> that may be the case for some of you, but this needs to change with the bat. 
And this needs to change for your well-being. But it's got this flavour. Having that conversation, it's like, you know, I have really, really enjoyed putting in the extra time on this project, but um, it's not something I can really sustain anymore. Or, or I wonder if we could sit down and look at my hours and see whether I could be rewarded. You know, it's like I'm, I'm aware I've done this many hours. You know, make a note of the hours you've done of overtime, actually. Gosh, do you know, I just checked in my diary or, you know, my partner, my family, my whatever actually sort of said to me, oh, we haven't seen you, or, or a friend said, I haven't seen you for ages. And we, we sat down and realised how much overtime I've done. And I'm really, you know, very conscious that I've really willingly given this, but I, I think I really ought to be rewarded for it. There's something going on here around this, this nurturing a conversation so that something can grow. We're seeing a lot of positive results here. This is what I'm seeing. I'm going to move these cards over here. Because this is a big part of your message. It's having that conversation. But let's see where this thing goes. So this is the way they came out. Right, now we have the card of failure and we have the queen of discs. Okay, this is really interesting. And these two cards kind of popped out in this way up. This is a card that actually says, um, this is about fear of failure. So this is about you. I think it's about you being fearful of having that conversation and thinking that no one will listen to you. And actually, um, I don't think that's the case. The Queen of Discs, which is the Queen of Pentacles, suggests that you've been through what I would call an arid patch. Can you see that she's looking back over the desert? And this really marks the point of no longer being in this sort of dry, arid desert territory. That's the energy. And she's actually sitting on a giant black pineapple, uh, for your information. <laughs> I don't quite know where, where that's come from, but uh, perhaps it's to do with abundance. But we've got a, a ram here, so Aries, New Beginnings, Ace of Wands, New Beginnings, very much an Aries card. And yeah, creative solutions, of course, coming through here. This card literally says, it's got a lovely, lovely message in it, which basically says you're on solid ground. You may not think you are, but you, you are in a really strong position. That's what this card actually says. The period of dryness is behind you and you're actually, you're, I won't say sitting pretty, but you're in a strong position. So whatever this negotiation conversation is about, I, I think because you genuinely are pretty amazing, Trust me, the circumstance around you, they don't want to lose you. They will not want to let go of you, whether this is work, family, friends, community. They don't want to lose you or your input. You're on solid ground. Yeah, if you're going for that serious raise, go for it. <laughs> That's what I want to say. So we have the nine of ones. This is sat, uh, the sun in Sagittarius in this pack. So this is about moving something forwards. Yeah, we have the star. And the, oh, this is fabulous. So <laughs> this is just gorgeous. Right, you've got the, the strength card, you've got the star card, you've got the chariot, and you've got the magician. The, ma the magus is the magician. And this is the card of Mercury, communications again. Alchemy, alchemical, transformational communications with the bat energy. Right, honestly, just, I want to say, your, your message is ever so clear. Go for it, have that conversation. This is the immediate message. Have this conversation about the scenario. You will be rewarded whether you're asking for a reward for what you're doing or, which is the Six of Pentacles again, breaking open, or you are asking for the situation to change so that you have more time for yourself. However you do this, um, your message is ever so, ever so clear, pile two. Let's draw an Archangel Michael card just to sort of conclude your reading, see if there's anything else shown. I, I feel this will be a terrific week for you. I don't feel I need to go into further detail in the week. Your message is ever so clear because it's about having that conversation and, and that you are going to get basically the outcome you want. They're, they don't want to let go of you. You're amazing. You're fabulous. Let's draw from the Archangel Michael pack. May we have any other information coming through? I feel we have this card. Time to leave this unhealthy situation. That's interesting. So I do think, for yeah, this, what I would say is the situation is 
it, it is about being rewarded. It's it's not necessarily, I mean, for some of you, it might be actually genuinely walking away, but largely I see it more in your reading, if I'm honestly, as to you letting go of overgiving being the under the underlying situation. That is what I am seeing. Be an earth angel, but not at the expense of yourself. Positive thoughts create positive results. Feels like there's, there's a much more of an affirmation than a sneaky peek into the future. But let's let's see what else we're shown. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. And what's this about? Are you feeling guilty that feeling like you ought to give more or feeling like you shouldn't make a change here? Everything in your reading is saying make the change. <laughs> yeah, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. You're being asked to trust yourself, beautiful souls. You're being asked to trust. Mm. I, I, I think you, I said, you know, maybe some, some of you are just with somebody who is needing more and some of you might be with someone who's acting innocent or angelic and really they're acting like that. You know, what's that saying? Butter wouldn't melt in their mouth. <laughs> That's what's coming through this colour yellow. Butter wouldn't melt in their mouth. You know, in other words, they're very good at sweet talking. Oh, could you just stay a bit later? Could you stay a little bit longer? Oh, I just need this. Could you pick up my shopping? I don't know where I'm going with this, but you know, it's got this sort of flavour. You, you just, you know. You haven't done anything wrong. You've done everything right. And it's simply time to, to kind of leave it's also exiting the part of you that's that's easily put upon if i'm truly honest and we have a sneaky peek perhaps yeah take time yeah again have that gentle conversation take your time with it yeah there are no re there are no negative repercussions here you and your loved ones are safe there are no negative repercussions at all from this honestly i'm gonna draw one more no negative repercussions are coming from this scenario at all. And you can actually ask Archangel Michael to help you with this. I think, honestly, beautiful souls, you're just, you are a precious angel. You really, really are. You've been put upon or been overgiving or something along those lines. And honestly, you know, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. I remember a friend saying that to me, boundaries, 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 never go out without them. <laughs> I really like that. This is truly time to draw those boundaries, have that gentle conversation, get the reward, get the raise, whether the, whether the reward and the, re the raise are monetary value for your time or whether it is to do with energy, um, getting your freedom back, your independence, time for yourself. But however it is, and whoever and whatever your scenario, everything is so clear in your reading. And there is nothing that is going to, there is no harm coming from this. I think you're really worried about either, if maybe for some of you, offending someone. Or if you ask for a, a raise, they'll find someone else. They are not going to want to let go of you. Whatever this circumstance, they know your value. Truly, they know your value. You know, you are a blessing and they know it. So you, the problem is you don't honour and value yourself enough. Okay, so oh, I must bring this back in. I brought this into a reading the other day, but I'm going to bring it in again now. It's something that I was gifted with um, really just like about a week ago. And I bring it in because it's. I brought it into one reading and it seems so relevant and it seems relevant now. Be bold, be brave, be you. Okay, pile two. I will repeat, be bold, be brave, be you. You are so valuable. You have no idea how amazing you are. You're irreplaceable. Just remember that. Remember that and then work out how to have that conversation. There's nothing wrong. Rather than going over and over in your mind, I think the therapist in me is kicking in again here, but <laughs> so forgive me, but I hope this is helpful. But, you know, rather than going over and over in, in your mind with repetitive thoughts where you think something won't work out and you're trying to anticipate how someone might respond, again, go back to the, that, that, the library there. 
You can prep a conversation in which you are establishing your boundaries. You're preparing the ground for what you want. You know, so you're going in prepared. It's like going to a meeting and doing a presentation. Take your time. But honestly, you're amazing. They are not going to want to let you go. <coughs> Truly, they're not. And this is the this is the thing here. I think I think you don't realise how extraordinary you are, and other people do. And then you're easily put upon in terms of the time and energy that you give. Pile two. This is your reading. In fact, let me just bring that in in case you wish to pause. <laughs> I'm going to stick that on there. Beautiful souls, I am sending you all the love in the world, the biggest hug, have that conversation. This is your reading for this week. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do these readings every Sunday. And thank you so much to all of you who follow them week in, week out. Beautiful souls, um, it's such an honour and a privilege to read for you, to be connected with you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. And I will put all the links to all the different things that I do, the library, my prize draw, um, my cards, my books, all sorts of things. Will I, I will put all those links, my all zodiac sign readings as well, which are on another platform into, I will put all the links into the description box and the pinned comment for you. Pile two, you are amazing. Tons of love. Hey, pile three, welcome to your reading. You have femme fatale, light attributes, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected, shadow attributes, inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. You have the rune of the warrior. This is a gorgeous energy. Quite a fascinating card, and you have the anchor. The rune of the spiritual warrior has a very decisive sort of energy, a kind of a let's take some action here, let's be really clear, let's hold the higher pathway, whatever that may mean. I'm very intrigued by your reading, P Pile Three. Let's have a quick look at your cards, really, or maybe not quick at all. Let us see what does Archangel Michael have to say? Sense of humor. Thank you for helping me see the humour in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. Okay, we have... Oops, there is your card flying out. Oh, you have the butterfly and snowdrop hope. Hmm, okay. Very, very interesting energy. Let's draw some chakra cards for you as well. Ooh. Okay, we have mysticism and faith. Look at this, you have faith and hope. Hmm, and this beautiful amethyst crystal. Beautiful souls, I feel like there is something of you, something of you that is so utterly, beautifully, magnificently unique. I know we're all unique individuals. Of course we are. We all, it goes without saying, doesn't it? I'm sure, you know, we all recognise, we all have very special gifts and unique qualities to bring to the world. But there's something, I almost want to say quite magnificent, that you're not showing the world. This is what I'm feeling like. It's like opens your heart, highlights the erotic energy. It's like there's a sensuality, a sexuality, a presence, a, a, a charisma almost. There's, there's something of you that, that somehow hasn't quite found its sort of anchor point and been birthed into the world. We've got hope, we've got faith. I'm going to go straight into your tarot cards, actually, my beautiful pile three. What is the message? Now, that's way too many, but I'm going to draw this one for the moment. I want to take the one at the top and the one at the bottom and then draw some more. What are we shown here for my beautiful pile of threes? I do feel this. 
let's look at these first and see what we have. So we have the world mm, and look at you. <laughs> I feel like this is like standing up like an amazing, like an icon. Being your glorious self. And how interesting that the hanged man has come the other way up. Now, even though it is this way up, let's say, and I don't tend to read cards in reverse, but I find it fascinating that both of these cards seem to me to be going, da -da, here I am, look, you know, look at the amazingness of you. It's almost because it is in reverse. It's like, again, something of you needs to be seen, to be shown, to go, da -da, here I am. You know, you, the amazingness of you, even this mysticism, she's, she's cloaked. Almost like cloak and dagger is, is that saying coming through for me. The wheel is turning here. We have the four of cups. How beautiful, out in the sunshine. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Moon. Mm, I think we have space for one more card. Let's draw another. Mm -hmm. This feels like a, almost like a lone wolf. Yeah, there's, there's something that is very important to you, about you that you haven't yet felt able to show the world, to relax, to just to be, to, to be yourself, to be out there, to be that lone wolf and be proud of it. Now, I can relate in a way, I mean, this is not my reading, but I can relate to the steps in sort of being who we are. I remember when I put my very first readings actually onto YouTube, and this is a really interesting story. I think it has some relevance because I had my online library, um, which was all to do with psychology and emotions. All of that was already on YouTube, uh, you know, available for people to find. And I asked, a colleague, a very, very good friend, both a friend and a colleague. She's a very, very, very uh, amazing astrologer. She's also a psychotherapist and she had trained with literally one of the world leading, you know, psychotherapy organizations. It's like an institution. And I asked her if she would have a conversation with me about astrology and the benefits of it or how it would interlink with counselling and put it into the library. And she was hesitant because she said she was fearful that her therapeutic community, because they were a very strong body, would actually, she could be ostracised for being too alternative, okay? Uh, this is albeit several years ago, in fact quite a long time ago now, but nevertheless, I I was a bit horrified in one way because I felt that, you know, we're meant to be a non-judgmental profession and this didn't feel right. This is your card, by the way. I thought this is not right. We're meant to be a non-judgmental profession and yet somehow we would not judge our clients and yet we might judge ourselves or our colleagues. And then I went away and I thought, Jenny, this is like pot calling kettle black because I, have ne I had at that point never ever... Uh, talked openly about the fact that I read cards and, and runes and have been for, you know, the best part of my life. I, this is such a, a part of my world and who I am. And so I actually decided that I would put some readings onto YouTube and they just took off. I mean, and, and here we are today. But I remember the acute vulnerability, the exposure that I felt. It was so wobbly. Uh, this Wheel of Fortune, it just feels like it's all wobbly. I feel if, that, if this was spinning like a roundabout, all these people have fallen over. It's like I just was concerned about how people would see me, what people would think, you know, all sorts of stuff. Obviously now that's long gone and I now read and do lots of other things and my pathway is really orientated spiritually in every possible way. But my wheels spun and I was acutely vulnerable and I feel that you are 
in that sort of position of having something of you that is not yet seen and there's something you desire or some it's either it's either something of you that is unique to you that you haven't yet birthed into the world or anchored or it's something you absolutely desire and want and you haven't yet gone for it so it's sort of those two kind of camps and this is all about kind of da it's time to be seen it's time to turn this on its head you know who cares what the world thinks about what you wear what you look like who you are your sensuality your sexuality your, and, and you know what in all honesty you're never going to please everybody all of the time but this is like having faith and hope in being the being that lone wolf being who you truly truly are my beautiful pile three being prepared to be out there <laughs> literally that that is what i am seeing in your reading with clear decisiveness what is this card we have here the devil how interesting because this is a card that can be about liberation i think its highest vibrational meaning is about cutting the cords that bind us but it's the cords that we ourselves place around us being true to yourself revealing who you are this card actually looks as if the layers are being peeled back being who you really are being yourself and and being proud to be yourself that's what it feels like be you, be proud to be you, and have trust, hope, and faith that you don't need to worry about this. I, th I think there is, in truth, a reality, of course, that whenever we step up and maybe we, we are doing something a little different, maybe not everybody will agree. I, I have certainly, honestly, literally in my world, on occasions I've almost been targeted like a witch hunt, literally, and, and I can genuinely say that that has happened because I'm me I stand up for what I believe in I, and 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 that's not an easy journey but you know we're never going to please everybody all of the time and this is a reading my beautiful soul your primary message from spirit is really saying be you don't be afraid to be seen don't be afraid to be that lone wolf there's something very special about you being you, coming out from under wraps. I, I think your initial message from Spirit is actually very, very clear. But I want to ask a bit more, really, and, and get some clarifying cards here, because hope, the butterfly and snowdrop, this is all about new beginnings, transformation, emerging. I mean, that's what butterflies do. They emerge from a chrysalis state. And the card of faith. Look at this, actually. Look at this here. We have the world and the card of faith. She's holding the world. She has the world in her hands. The amethyst is a crystal of healing. This person here holding a, a cup with light in it and a dove of peace she's holding the world in her hands I feel that there is an indication here of a very very amazing outcome to your emergence here and that's what I want to draw more clarifying cards around this emergence the outcome there's a concern, maybe, and I understand that. But sense of humour, laugh about it. Rather than getting anxious, laugh about it. Don't get in a pickle. Don't go round and round and round the, the roundabout on this one. I sort of feel it's like the, the timing really is right for you to emerge, to come out. I mean, if any of you are questioning whether or not you should, if there's any issues of your own sexuality... I, this is really saying, be you. But whatever it is for you that is unique and individual, it's time to come out from under wraps. And looking at the Six of Cups here, we have a lovely little friendship group going on here. And they're all a bit different, aren't they? 
We've got a couple, we've got a rag doll, I think a couple of rag dolls here. We have a couple of teddy bears, another bear here or a, a weasel maybe. I'm not sure what that is or a stoat or something. Oh, that's a cat actually. It's a cat, isn't it? It's leaping down, I think. Yeah, do you know, I didn't quite see that initially, but I think this is, this is not a set. I was seeing this as another upright toy here, but I think this is the cat launching down. Cats have nine lives. It's like being rebirthed, renewed, arriving, <laughs> landing amongst friends, family. Let's draw more cards. I would really like to know a little bit more. What is it you're, you're either desiring something that you don't, you're hesitant in your belief that you can own it or have it, or alternatively, you are seeking um, to, to just come out, to be you in some way. So there's something you want that you don't yet believe you can go for, or there is something of you that you haven't revealed, birthed into the world openly. Let us ask more about this. What is this about? So we have the death card. So this is the transformation, the rebirth. Now, what's the outcome? This faith, this connectivity with others maybe we have power Ooh. we have the hermit we have the ace of discs we have sorrow I'm seeing this Princess of Cups and let's just have a look and see what's on the base of the pack. Seven of Wands Valor. Okay. Right pile number three, my beautiful souls. What I'm seeing is a really significant transformation that's it's incredibly beneficial for you. It really, really is this emergence. I, I sort of feel until you can be you, it is almost as though some aspect of your life or something that you really, really want, or even just the everyday quality of your life cannot really take off. The power card. This is an interesting energy. I feel this is about you standing strong, standing in your own power. It's almost as if you're, by not taking an ownership of whatever this is for you, and it will be unique to you, whatever it is, desire, some aspect of you, being seen, by not taking an ownership of it, I think you diminish your power in some way because you're not able to be fully present and fully present and able to receive. There's, there, there will be some losses here, okay? Now, the losses are very real because it, it, it feels like a, I sort of want to say, I feel like it's going to be a positive loss. I know that's a, a tricky one to say, but it is that sort of, you can't please all the people all of the time, but you I feel like you're going to be a guiding light for other people here. Your strength, your valour, your presence. You have so much to give. And you can't give without being fully, fully you, really. This is what this reading is saying. You have so much to give, so much to offer, so much to bring to the world but you can't do that without being fully you. And this is so present in your reading. This is definitely a sort of a, a reading of step up. Step up and really don't worry. I, I want to say don't worry about the consequences. It, it may be genuinely, it, this you can't please everyone all of the time, but it is interesting. I, I feel like with the Six of Cups, the people who matter to you are going to be there for you. They're going to back you. Because 
you're going to be visible, strong. It's, it's really interesting, isn't it? If I, I'll go back to that example, which was a few, quite a few years ago where I did those first readings and I really, really was so wobbly. And yet now look at us here as a community. I mean, I cannot thank you enough for the love and the appreciation you have given me. It doesn't mean that sometimes I don't still get targeted by people. Actually, you know, it does happen. In, but what I would say is it's in walking this pathway, you know, I, I have to some extent, I am now connected with so many of you who are just amazing you know we, we hold the light sometimes the light attracts dark and so it doesn't mean that there won't be people if we think of the um, meaning of femme fatale sometimes people point the finger at somebody and say you know they're this they're that and it's generally rooted in envy so I, I sort of feel we'd be really wrong not to acknowledge that actually but what I feel is that the light will be so much bigger than any of the losses that you encounter. The benefits will be so much more. And they're huge because it's about you also having faith in yourself. Let's draw some more cards and we'll draw from the Archangel Michael pack and we have a card here. Let go of fear now. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. Yeah, I think there's concern about stepping up being seen in whatever way this is. Anchor yourself here. Do you know what the anchor is speaking to me about now? I'm really uh, feeling like like it's it's coming into harbour. I don't think you'll be able to come into the harbour and put down your anchor, find the place where you want to put down your anchor without being fully open and available to, uh, to for you to be you. It's kind of that your vibe attracts your tribe and also it's kind of like if you're a lone wolf, and no one knows you're a lone wolf, then you're not going to be invited to the lone wolf club because none of the other lone wolves know that you're a lone wolf. So they can't identify you. It's like there's something here about putting down your anchor and, and finding that place to be, um, that place of belonging. And I think to find it, you have to actually be you. Whatever that kind of community or tribe is, this came out as a theme in another reading really recently. And so this is bringing something quite specific to that theme. If any of you were drawn to that previous set of readings and this was a theme for you. And this is like taking it a step further and saying you have to be out there, visible, to be seen, to be noticed, to find your tribe. To, look at this, it's like you're being guided in. Look at them. And here you are approaching they're all like hey hi come on in welcome this could be a spiritual pathway at uh, your spirituality it could be your sensuality it's whatever this is for you this is unique to you and it's about ownership believe and trust before going to sleep tonight say archangel michael please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust let me be filled with strength courage and confidence Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. The prayer, I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. I don't think there could be a greater affirmation, actually, in your message, Pile 3. I really, really don't. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I just want to say, you are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You are amazing. You are unbelievably unique. You have something so uniquely special. <laughs> the Hermit card, uniquely you, to bring forth. And you will be a beacon for others, to be themselves, however that is. 
and this really is your message for today. Now, I do sometimes draw cards for the week uh, from these readings, and I feel I want to just draw a few for you just to see how your week might pan out. But the message is so clear. It really is such a powerful communication. I mean, maybe this is the week when there is an opportunity for you to be seen. da -da! So I think I will just draw a few cards for a little sneaky peek into the week for you, Pile 3. Any indication? In fact, let's just ask. Let's get really clear here. Clarifications, Spirit, may we have clarification for Pile 3 about how this impacts on this particular week, the next seven days, please. May we have a message or information or guidance or anything that will be helpful for Pile 3 to see to know it's this one and this one we have six of pentacles i love this this card has come out quite a lot well it came out in definitely one of the other readings six of pentacles it's like you bash the pinata and out comes all the goodies <laughs> this is like celebration celebration fantastic oh this is so super nice look at this ten of wands I feel like something that has been a burden for you can come to an end really here. Something that has held you back can be transformed. Absolutely. With this caravan in the background, that feels like for me that my immediate association is going on holiday, celebrating, letting go of stuff. We have the five of wands. Look at you climbing. I think there will be, okay, yes. I think there may be an opportunity for some form of travel or there's an opportunity to, I say, to climb. There is definitely an opportunity this week for you to sort of reveal yourself, to take this off, the eight of wands, to, to literally to open a doorway, to show people who you are, to, to climb out of something, a situation where you've not been able to see clearly. I, I think there is a circumstance that's going to trigger an opportunity for you this week, my beautiful pile threes. And it will be an opportunity to put down the burden and climb out of this place of kind of hi of hiding yourself basically i mean it could be that there is a party <laughs> where you literally suddenly arrive dressed in the clothes that you never dared to wear or there's something a celebration an opportunity definitely something is opening this pinata is burst open the goodies are out there falling the the benefits the sweets the delicious the deliciousness falling from <laughs> falling from above right i think something will happen in this week keep us posted in the comments beautiful pile three something is coming that will give you an opportunity to go da -da, i'm here <laughs> to to remove that mask that to, to no longer be hidden to climb out of this space where you are burdened you feel as though you have to hide you can't be you i think something will happen it may even have happened ar around you already. There may already be an invitation to something. You may even be contemplating it. But if you are not, I think it will happen this week. An opportunity for this to actually take place, for this proper emergence to, yeah, to happen. And it's fantastic. Pile three, do keep us posted. Whatever this is for you, whatever this emergence this da -da, this is me be proud to be you whatever this means for you whether it's your spiritual gifts whether it's just you being out uh, whatever this is i mean i could go through so many different scenarios and this will be unique to you but this is time for you to no longer hide some aspect of who you are beautiful souls pile three i'm sending you so much love this is it, it is it's delicious it's gorgeous it's fabulous it's full of sweet surprises 
pile three do keep us posted thank you so so much for being here thank you for liking sharing and subscribing this feels so incredibly sort of exciting risky a bit nerve-wracking but fabulous all in one go Tons of love to you, beautiful Pearl 3. Super Souls, I will leave links to all sorts of things that I do. Uh, I, my books, my oracle cards, my free online library that helps with psychology and emotion, uh, my uh, email list if you want to enter my free, uh, my prize draw, my monthly prize draw for subscribers, um, my online, um, my other, other site, uh, my Patreon site where I do my online readings, my all zodiac sign online readings. Beautiful souls. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm overwhelmed. My words are all going a, a bit higgledy piggledy, but I think it's because of the energy here. It's, it's so, so exciting. It's like, because I just think this is you. And well, well. I shall say no more. Tons of love, beautiful souls. I'll put those links in the description and in the pinned comment. See you soon for another reading. Beautiful souls, you are gorgeous, you are amazing.